Hi, Jeremy Cook here with JC Devices, and here today I'll be showing off and showing how to assemble my JC Pi Protect board. This is actually a PCB made in the shape that it can protect the Pi. It's like a little enclosure for it. I, I think it's pretty neat. One of the models actually includes a uh, prototyping area too, so I'll show that off. So this is the base. Here is the smooth edition. Here is the edition with a prototyping area on it, which it can be used for any number of things. Components. So you got this, which is a spacer and a little wrench, which I think is pretty pretty neat. And you've got four longer screws and then four shorter screws. The standoffs here and then this, this pad, these pads will go in the bottom. So we'll put this aside for now. So this will go in the base and then this will either go on top here like that, or you've got another way to do it like this. Between the top and the bottom, you need some spacer, and I couldn't get that spacer quite right, so I made something for myself. It's a spacer, it's got seven, seven spacer things and a little wrench, so let's pop that out. These may have little tabs on them depending on how they're made. So you've got nine beads here, or nine spacers, and depending on what you do with it, you may or may not, you may or may not need all nine. So what you want to do first is take the base, and put one of the longer, you want to put one of the longer screws in here. This will be about eight millimeters, whereas the smaller ones are about somewhere around six millimeters. That, that may change as this progresses, but for now, you want to put each of these, each of the long ones through the bottom here. One, two, three, and then four. Uh, it looks good. Now on top of that, you'll want to put a spacer on each of them. So we'll put the spacer there. One, two, three, two, three, two three, and four. And then you want to put a pie on the top. This has to be a pie four. It's not, well, the base will fit on a pie three, I believe, but the top won't, will only fit a pie four as of this, right? As of this video, maybe I'll make another one if, if there's demand. Put the pie on the top. And then from there, you'll want to put these standoffs on each one. So, and this last one's a little harder. Might be easiest to do it like this. Pop that out there. Let's see, pop it right back in. Okay. It's kind of hard to hold it, so that's part of the reason why I made this, is a wrench. So you can hold it with the wrench. Alright, so the wrench is holding it nicely there. It's probably possible to do this without the wrench, but it makes it just a little bit easier. So, screw that in. It's holding it nicely. So we'll tighten the first one. Why not use the wrench just to show that off? So, tighten this one too. I guess this would be useful too if you want to align, align the hex in one way or another. I don't care about that so much, but you could, I suppose. You can go you can use that or you could use the box, the box if you wanted to, depending on your situation. So that's, that's looking good. And then from there, we'll just put the smooth top on in this case. So the smooth top goes there and you got the four smaller screws. small screws and then tighten them down. And there you have it. There's the assembled JC Pi Protect 2. Pi Protect 2. In here you have it. Here's the assembled JC Pi Protect. But there's one more thing that you might want to put on here, which is these rubber bumpers. So why not put one there? And if you don't use that, you've also got a 3.5 millimeter hole and a 5 millimeter hole on either side, so you can use that to mount it. You can also put some thin rail mounts on there, which could be convenient. I won't show how to put these on right now, but basically you just screw them in in the five millimeter hole and then they make a nice, almost flush, not quite. You can see here, I don't actually have them lined up correctly, so they need to be like that, actually. With that done, you've got a nice, nice pie case, and this is extremely strong. Uh, you know, a PCB material is really incredible. And the one thing that's that's really neat about this is if we'll zoom in here just a little bit. Yeah, so you've got all the GPIO pins labeled. So you can have, you know, GPI if you're like, oh, where does 3.3 where does volts go? 3.3 volts goes to there. 5 volts is there. Second 5 volts is there. Ground under that. GPIO, et cetera, et cetera. All of this just points to that. It's not... You know, the fan is where it is, you can't move that. And I wanted to make sure there was room for that so you can you can cool your, your pie if needed. I, I found that to be a very useful accommodation. Also got a slot for the camera and the slot for the display. Of course you got space for the fan here, but you can also use a heatsink if you like. Kind of an in or thing, so 
fits right in there just about flush so with a fan without a fan you can use that pretty neat and then you got you've got access to, to all your ports and stuff too so usb hdmi ports the stereo jack usb ethernet and of course you've got space for your gpio pio pins which are nice and labeled and your slot here of course Big shout out to PCBA Way who made these PCBs and sponsored this video. They did good work as always and PCBs got here in a pretty pretty short amount of time. So they look pretty good. Oh and here's here's the board with LEDs soldered on. And then here's a little little little, little prototype that I made out of acrylic on my laser cutters. So this is a great thing, great thing to use before you actually send it off to be to be made. So now I'll we'll swap this out for a breadboard area cover and add the fan on it as well. So to swap this out, all you'll need to do is just Take up the screws on the top. And good. And then just need to put the breadboard thing back here and here and screw it back in. Presuming that you'd like a fan on it, the standard 30 millimeter fan that I've been using, if you put all the screws in, in the normal orientation, this fan, this one will hit this module. So I've been either leaving these out or you can use four spacers on that. Or alternatively, you could flip it over, but then it's just it's sucking instead of pushing. So I don't know if you really want that. As here you can see, you can just use three and it'll avoid avoid this. In this procedure, I'm gonna show how to do it with the spacers. So you can just lift it up a little bit. Whichever way you wanna go is, is fine. Probably this, probably this cools just a little bit better, but I haven't really tested it. Four screws in. Put the spacers on it. Good. As you can see, I made this with slots, not, not holes. So it actually, even though you could maybe move this around a little bit, in theory, it's more or less in the same place. This also means that other, other fans should be able to be accommodated. I haven't tested it with anything else, but in theory, it could use one that was a little bit smaller, a little la larger. All right, so that's just, just lightly attached. And then you could put the bo box wrench on there. And hold it nicely while you tighten it. Actually, it might only go on in one orientation, not the other one, because of the way the laser cuts it. Just, uh, just an FYI there. So there we go. There's a little space there, and it's offset, so it doesn't hit the, the processor or anything. So let's put that on, and we'll tighten that down. So then if you're wondering, where exactly do I plug this in? Well, you've got the five volts in the ground there, so that's very easy. You can just say, okay, I can just look at this. So I've got the five volts and then ground. If you want to look up anything, it's just it's just right, right there. So in theory, I could plug this in and it should just, just work. Look at that. Really nice cool air on the Raspberry Pi. That's that's great to see. If you want to go further with this, you could use one of these Easy Fan 2 boards, which I sell on my Tindy store, and basically you can make it turn off and on depending on temperature and stuff, or, or whatever function you like. I won't go over that right here, but it is an option. But you can see you're keeping your pie cool, and you've got all kinds of prototyping area that could put lights or, or whatever else, whatever else you want on that. It's, you know, the possibilities are endless. Well, actually they're a bit limited because it is a fairly small prototyping area, but if you needed just a few things and didn't want to have it hanging all over your pie, I think this is a great feature and I hope Hope people will really, really enjoy it. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy my JC Pi Protect. This is Jeremy Cook, signing off.